Hey guys, so in yesterday's video, I showed you how to add a little spinner or loading screen in front of your queries. And it looked like this. So you would add a component loader or some kind of higher order component that would handle it for you. And you would put it after your GraphQL component or higher order component, and you just pass in uh, the loading of how you get it from the props, and, and it'll display a spinner like I have right here and then we can see we don't have to put any loading logic in our colors. But this is with higher order components. Um, the new rendered prop, which looks like this, um, you'll see this is how I would normally do it. I just would check if loading, and then I'd return null, for example, or I'd return the items once they've loaded in. So I'm gonna show you how you can do the same thing that we did yesterday. Um, with this rendered prop component or this query component right here. So this works just fine. We can see if I refresh, it'll wait. Um, and then once it's finished loading, this data will, will actually have the data we want, the colors, and we can render them here. So next, let's take a look at how you might simplify this. So here is what I call, I called it a null query. So I'll show you how this is created. But this, what this will allow you to do is notice I don't have to add any loading logic whatsoever here. All I do is I grab the data and then I display the data based on what I wanted to display. So let's look at how null query works. Um, this is null query. So I have a query component and this is coming from React Apollo. So you'll notice I'm basically just taking whatever props that uh, are given to me and then get, passing them right to the query. And then after that, I'm just checking if uh, we're loading. And if we're loading, I return null. Otherwise, we just return the uh, props of the child. So this might be a little bit weird if you haven't seen this before, but this is how rendered uh, props work when you're creating a component. So what this is, is this is how you have over here, this little, or it's six, this little function, right? So this component returns um, inside of it, the children are a function. So the parameters here is what I pass uh, right here. So other props is what's given to that component over there. And uh, so what is other props? Well, whatever they queried, it's gonna have their data inside of that. So that's why I'm just over here able to say, grab my data, get the colors, and I don't have to worry about any type of loading. So in my index.js, I can render color six, and we'll notice um, just a blank, and then the stuff will show up. Now I'm sure you kind of get the idea of how you might convert this to um, using a spinner for, or pretty much anything else, right? Instead of returning null, you'd return the component you would want. So here is a uh, just component query is what I called it. And it's the exact same thing, except you'll notice I am accepting an extra prop up here called loading render. And then I'm returning loading render. So there's lots of different ways you could do this. You could hard code the loading component you want. But here I'm basically allowing the user to pass in a function that returns what the loading screen will be. And again, I'm just passing any of the props down. So all the same props are supported uh, on this query component. So that's what color seven is doing. And uh, we can take a look at this. So you'll notice on my component query, I am now passing a new prop called loading render, which is a function and it just returns a spinner. So that is what's going to display in the loading. Um, and then we have a query here. Um, as you would any other uh, use the regular query component. And then here we don't worry about the loading, we just display it. Okay, so let's take a look at how this works. So we'll do color seven and we can see a little olive spinner here and then it shows up. Um, so we could also handle, for example, the null case in our component query too if you want. So we can make this basically um, cover all the cases. You don't really need two components like I currently have. 
So I could check if they pass in a loading render. If they do, I call the function. Otherwise, I return null. So now this component that I have here basically covers all of our bases. So in color seven, if I wanted to, I can get rid of the loading component altogether and uh, our loading render. And you'll notice it just shows blank and then displays this. Otherwise, it displays whatever you want here. And it doesn't just have to be a spinner. This can literally be any component you want to. So I could have a div that says loading, or I might show an image, whatever you want. But it's super versatile, so now every single query I use now, I can pass in this prop or leave it blank if I want to. And I have a little thing that'll show up while it's loading, and then I don't have to worry about writing the same logic every time in my component. So I hope that gives you an idea how you could do this with uh, rendered props. So really it just uh, comes up to what you prefer. And you might end up using both in your project if you have some places where you use uh, the query and you might use something like this. If you're gonna use the query component, other times you might use the higher order component and you might use both. Um, but both work and that's when a lot of times you can get the same functionality with a higher order component as you do with a rendered prop. Um, they're both very similar and can do very similar things. Uh, but some cases they just change up a little bit and you notice in this case the code looks quite a bit different to like get this to work. Now we're not using any library like recompose to do this check. Um, so this might make this might be there might be less magic here um, because you can see exactly what's going on whereas recompose you know is doing some stuff under the hood for you. That's it for this video guys. Thanks for watching.